Hey friends, it's Carrie here with eatingonadime.com and today I'm going to show you how to make my favorite pork roast recipe in the crock pot. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is start off with a pork roast. You, I'm just using a regular roast. You can also use like a tenderloin, um, pork chops, a pork butt. You could do what? A, <laughs> gosh, she's killing. <laughs> Christina's killing me today. I'm so glad she's here. In case you didn't know, she's not usually on here on a Monday. Oh, she's oh, she's here. Oh. Yay for the holiday! <laughs> oh, for the holiday. Okay, so now that I got my rose, I just give me a heart for Christina. Give me a heart. That I didn't they, elbow her. They love me. Okay, so they see me all week. <laughs> we've they got the me. roast. I know. <laughs> we've got the roast in there. We're going to add a half an onion. Any kind of onion will do. I'm using a red onion just because that's what I had already halved up in my fridge, and I just want to use what we have. Um, you can throw potatoes in here. I'm not, because traditionally when I do a pork roast, I like to serve it with mashed potatoes, but you do you. No judgment here. We've got some whole carrots. I've already peeled them, um, and then we're just going to chop them up into big kind of pieces. And honestly, you just use whatever your family is going to eat. So I don't have a ton of carrots because they don't go crazy over the carrots. But I love the carrots in this recipe, so I'm not going to skimp it. Throw those right on top. You're going to need some chicken broth or water. I'm just going to use water today because, well, I didn't realize I was out of chicken broth. Um, hashtag, it's a Monday. Okay. So I'm going to throw this in. Don't worry. Water will work fine. If you have bouillon cubes or anything like that, you can throw that in there too. It's still going to be delicious. We're going to throw in some minced garlic. You can mince your own garlic if you want to, but <laughs> I'm not going to do that. That's so much work. Okay, then we need some Italian seasoning. Sprinkle it right on over. Then some pepper. Oop. Then some salt. done that's it that's all you got to do that's the recipe that's so easy Karen. isn't that so easy <laughs> i'm going to slow cook this you can do low or on high now with my pork roast my sister likes to be able to slice them i like it to be shreddable um just like i like my roast so i like to cook it a little bit on the longer side oh wait a minute Sandra said the Catalina chicken was a hit with my family. Yes, my kids love when they were a little, they used to call that pink chicken. That's what I called it too, I think, when I was younger because it kind of changes the color. It's so good. Okay, so that's how easy this recipe is. What did I meet? I used a pork roast. You can do a pork roast, pork loin, pork tenderloin. Now, so back to what I was saying about cooking time. So if you're going to use a pork tenderloin, you're going to need to cook it less because they're much smaller. A pork roast will take longer. Um, and then it's just based on how you want it when it's finished. So our original recipe, we have it sliceable, but I'm going to cook this to where it's shreddable because that's just kind of how I like my roast. I want it shreddable, but you're allowed to cook it however you want to. Um, we're going to serve this with mashed potatoes and inside the full recipe, we also show you how to make a gravy. We're going to use the delicious juices from cooking all day and cornstarch to make a delicious gravy that you can actually make right inside your crock pot as well. And it's delicious served over mashed potatoes. Now, again, you do not have to have mashed potatoes. You can easily throw in some potatoes in this crock pot right now. You could also serve it with rice. That would be delicious as well. Easy, right, guys? Yep. Cheers to how easy this recipe is. Cheers. So instead of worrying about what we're going to eat for dinner tonight on Halloween or 
going through the drive through to get something crummy to add on with our candy. We are going to have a healthy-ish, no, it's pretty healthy. We're going to have a healthy, delicious dinner so we will feel good and not be starving when we're out trick-or-treating because, you know, we got to have our energy up for all the walking, right? Yep. Definitely. Okay. So even though today's the last day of our 31 days of crock pot recipes, it doesn't mean that you should miss out. You drop the word recipe below. We will send you today's recipe, the crock pot pork roast, but we will also send you the link on how you can get all of those recipes in your email um, and also how you'll get the emails to enter into our future giveaways. Anything else I missed? I don't think I did. You guys have a fabulous day. Thanks so much for joining my kitchen and I will see you next time. Bye friends. Thanks so much for joining me today. Don't forget you can get the full recipe in the link in the description. You'll also find a link for you to get our 31 days of free crock pot recipes in your email. You can find all of that down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any more of our family friendly recipes. I'll see you next time. Bye friends. Oh, 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 oh,